Hey folks, Mike GPO here. Welcome to my channel. There's my uh, my new summer intro. Um, the leaves are starting to turn green as you can see and it's gonna be a beautiful sunny day. A few little wispy clouds down there in the south. Um, welcome and come on in watch a video or three and uh, be nice to people. It's all we gotta do. Be nice and uh, stay home. You know, it's not over yet. Everybody thinks it's over, but it ain't over yet. So uh, stay home, stay safe. Hey YouTube, Mike GPO here. Uh, I don't know if anybody in uh, in Canada has ever gotten one of these in the mail, but uh, it uh, it's an apology from Canada Post Corporation. Right up there it says Canada Post Corporation. And it says, dear customer, we sincerely regret that your mail item has been damaged. It was found in this condition in the mail stream. We realize your mail is important to you and we are always concerned when mail entrusted to our care is damaged. We continue to improve our processing methods to help reduce occurrences of mail damage in our system. You may call Canada Post at blah, 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 and all that. And we do apologize for the inconvenience. Maybe they should apologize for uh, the slow local mail we're getting because I'll tell you what, oops, I better turn that package over too just because it's got all the addresses on there. As you can see, I got another familiar white envelope and what apparently happened was a package that my package was next to leaked a little bit and kind of got this oily whatever all over it so they figured uh, biohazard and they slammed it in a plastic bag and sent it on its way but uh anyway what i got here is another uh beautiful package from cr62 silver and more this is uh trade number 20 between us number 21 is already on its way there and his is on its way here already so anyway give me a couple minutes and i'll uh we'll get busy here all right here we go you can see we've got the uh the dr g coin standout with my uh two scully jolly rogers up on the top here one in 10k and one in nine nine fine or triple nine fine and uh my red eye from the bear there's the red eye you can see him beautiful piece i get a lot of compliments on that one bear and as always my silver vessel metals mafia puck love this thing all right give me a second we'll get some beautiful coins up here all right folks here's uh, the first uh, group of coins that i got in this trade from uh, cr62 silver and more and as you can see these are all two francs and they are from switzerland they're made from 80.835 percent silver they're 10 grams uh they're beautiful coin beautiful beautiful coins and as you can see they have a reeded edge on them and uh if you give me a second i will flip them all around and you'll have a look at the other side there we go folks you can see the lovely helvetia and uh looking at these coins you can tell they're in uh, they're in damn good shape I mean, uh, they're just beautiful condition, these things. And uh, I attribute a little bit, a little bit of that to uh, some people putting them away when they had to. And because of the hardness of the silver, like 0.83% silver is pretty, it's a pretty hard silver. So uh, it takes a lot to mess them up and it takes being in the pocket a long time to rub them off. So, but anyway, give me a second, we'll move on to some more beauties. All right, here we go. Here's the next uh, beauty, and you can see this is a 50 shilling from uh, the Re Republic of uh, Osterreich. It's from Austria. Beautiful coin. And this particular coin, now if I get it right or I get it, probably get it wrong. I got it wrong. Anyway, if you flip it over, this particular coin is a commemorative issue, and it's to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Austrian broadcasting. And you can see 1924 to 1974. Coin was issued in 1974. 0.640% silver, 20 grams. Beautiful coin. And it does have edge lettering. 
and of course I got it upside down. And what the edge lettering says is Fumfzig Schilling, which is 50 shillings. Just beautiful, beautiful coin. Thank you, Christian. It's a lovely one. All right, folks, here we go. Here's the next one. And again, it's another 50 shilling. You can see the uh, the value inside a, a circle of shields that represent, I believe, all the provinces in Austria. Don't get me, uh, <laughs> don't hold me to that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And again, Republic of Osterreich. And on the edge, it says uh, Fumpzig shilling. And this one is to commemorate uh, 50, uh, the 150th anniversary of the death of Franz Schubert, who was uh, a classic musician, I believe. Beautiful coin. And again, just beautiful condition, these things. They're just absolutely lovely, Christian. All right, folks, here's the last of the uh, the 50 shillings, and this one is a real stunner. I mean, it's just a beauty. You can see it's a proof, and it's just it's shiny as a new penny. A just beautiful coin, and again, you can see Republic, Osterreich, 50 shillings, and all the uh, provincial shields. Um, my hands are uh, not, not sweaty or oily. I just uh, alcohol them. So uh, if we take this carefully and we'll turn it around and we'll stand it up a little bit. I want to put my thumb on it so it doesn't fall. But you can see there, this, uh, no, and I forgot to put it up on my screen so I could read my own information. Uh, it's, a, it's a garden exhibition. It was a commemorative issue in 1974 to commemorate the International Garden Exhibition. It's just, it's a beautiful coin, like just amazing. A lot of detail on there. And while I'm holding it there, you can see it does have the edge lettering too, which says Funkzig Schilling, but just a beautiful, beautiful coin, Christian. And it will be going straight in the flip right after this. Okay, let me put some more up here. All right, folks, here's the next beauty, and this is uh, a, a 1988 Calgary Olympics $20 silver coin made from 925 silver, 34.11 grams. I believe there's an ounce of silver in these, and they're just stunning. Any marks you can see on there, it's on the capsule, trust me. And... Uh, We'll flip this around and we'll see the old this is a, a the long neck Lizzie I guess or a version of the long neck long neck Lizzie uh, you can see the year there 1987 that coin was made and just beautiful and like I said it's to commemorate the 1988 Winter Olympics in Calgary just a beautiful beautiful coin and like uh, there's a mirror there you can see the the old guy in the back there just ignore him <laughs> but anyway hang on for a sec here's another one of those beautiful beautiful 1980s well it says 1988 calgary but uh, the coins were issued in 1987 20 dollar proof coin made from 925 silver 34.11 grams just a beautiful beautiful coin and like i said any of that stuff it's all on the capsule so I'm I'm just gonna keep them in there and leave them. So, but just give me a sec. I got one more for you. All right, folks. Here's the last one of this package. Uh, I know I got another package on the way, and uh, I think there might be a couple more of these in there. They're beautiful. I just bought one of these off a of Facebook auction too, so I'll have like about six of them now. But it's another twenty dollar nine two five silver, thirty four point one grams. And this one is to commemorate alpine skiing. Just beautiful, beautiful coins and like mirrors. Just absolute mirrors. Just beautiful. If they weren't uh, in these dirty capsules, well, the, the dirt's probably mostly for me touching them because I was touching that oily package when I handled them and I didn't realize. But anyway, Christian... Thank you again, my friend, for another pile of absolutely beautiful silver coins. 
I just love them. And uh, we're trying to hit our 25th uh, trade this year. So we're at number 21 already, so I don't see a problem. But anyway, thank you very much for all of the nine and a half minutes that I've taken up of your day. And uh, have a great one, YouTube. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.